Before you call them friend, gotta prove them first. Is there really loyalty when you're at your worst? We need to hit her all like the wire. You're looking for some truth, I'll supply it. If you want it too soft, this ain't deal. You gon' choose a law of a sin. This just some uncut gems. This just some uncut gems. We was diamonds in the dirt. Just grinding in the turf, our mama go berserk, trying to keep from riding the hearse. Now we lines in the work, sons of Zion with the church. Different color fringes is looking vibrant on my shirt, and I'm lying in the dirt. I pray to be a fire hydrant with this word, like a geyser on the curb. All right, kind, kind. So first and foremost, want to give all honor and glory and power to the Most High God Yahweh. I do so by Hashem, Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. That's in the name of who the word is going to cause Jesus Christ. So we the um, Hebrew Israelites, school of Sakari, come out here to Dallas. You know what I'm saying? Letting the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans know that you guys chosen people, that you need to come out the ways of this world and return back into your God before all hell break loose in the society, man. Right. So give me the book of um, Isaiah chapter uh, 30 and verse uh, 20. I'm going to start off with that real quick. You give me the book of uh, Hosea chapter... Uh, no, give me the book of Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse uh, 10. Bring it up. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 30 verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity... And the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teacher be removed into a corner anymore. Right, because at a certain point in time, in, as far as American history go, right, we've been learning nothing but the ways of the so-called white man and the other nations, right? But in prophecy in the Bible, the Lord said, huh? Uh, I'm, I'm going to get him. I just got to, my message always to the black and Spanish first real quick. Right, so I understand that, but yet in these last days, the Lord said he would be raising up teachers for you so-called blacks and Hispanics, right? Let you know who you are, let you know what you need to be doing in these last days, so thou shalt, make, uh, thou shalt be saved. You are? But thine eyes shall see thy teachers, right? and thine ears shall hear a word behind thee. Right, and that's the word you're going to hear behind you. What is the word? The words of the Lord that you hear right here in the Bible, right? Y'all believe in God? Y'all love God right here? How do we show God that we love him according to the scriptures? And that's why the Lord, right, that's why the Lord is raising up teachers, because yet when you ask our people, the Israelites, questions about the Bible, yet we don't know, but yet this is our heritage, right? So this is the main reason why we're coming out here and teaching our people who they are and who, and who the uh, scriptures is for, because guess what? We're the ones that the Lord promised salvation to if you repent. Keep going. This is, sorry, and thine eyes shall hear a word behind thee, saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. Right. When ye turn to the right hand, and we turn to the left. Right, so no matter which way you're going, once you hear these words of life coming from the Bible, right, the book of life, as it says in Baruch 4 and 1, then you should know this is the way that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are God's chosen people, and all these so-called white people that stole the land from our indigenous brothers and sisters and brought the so-called black man over here, they got to go into slavery as well. That's right. right. So drop that. Give me what you got. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 10. Right. Moreover, he said unto me, son of man, all my words that I shall speak unto thee, receiving thine heart, right. and hear with thine ears, right. and go and get them of the captivity unto the children of thy people. Right, and that's what we're doing, the children of thy people. You two sisters, what's your nationality, if you don't mind me asking? Um, I'm Colombian and Mexican. Black and Mexican. Black and Mexican on your father's side? Yeah, so according to the Bible, y'all would be God's chosen people, the Israelites that you read about in the Bible. This Bible, this is your heritage, but as far as us going into slavery, us being in the hoods in a downtrodden position, and, and today the Bible explains all that. Why? Give me the book of Baruch uh, 4 and 6 real quick. No, give me Deuteronomy 76 for you as well. All right, let me show you this real quick. Well, y'all the Israelites, y'all got to show the people, so uh, drop that. Uh, you know that, well, if you know that, you got to repent, you got to keep the commandments, and you got to act right in these last days in the eyes of the Lord. What'd she say? Yeah, but you saying you know that, but yeah, we don't see no, we don't see no actions. Give me the book of uh, Matthew chapter seven and verse nineteen. So a lot of our people in these last days, they say they love God. They say they, a lot of people even know the knowledge that they Israelites, but yeah, are they walking in it? No, and that's why we got to come out right here and be an example. First and foremost, Christ is our example, and yet since the light shine on us, we put that on our people as well. Give me that Matthew seven and nineteen. Nineteen. Let me see what's it. Uh, seven and nineteen. Uh, you should know about the fruits. Yeah. This is the book of Matthew chapter seven verse. 19 right every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down right so if you a tree a tree is representing people so if you're not bringing good fruit which is your worst guess what man you're going to be cut down when the lord delivers the um one third of israel right keep going and cast into the lake of fire right wherefore by their fruits 
ye shall know them. Yeah, right. So anybody that's telling me, oh, look, I know the knowledge, but you're not walking in it. Look, I can't believe you, man. That's giving the book of First uh, John chapter 2 and verse 3 on that as well, man. So like I said, man, first and foremost, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who are the Israelites of the Bible, guess what, man? You got to come back to the Lord. You got to keep the commandments and stop saying you just believe without any works, man. Right? Because give me the book of, uh, you getting something? No, no, no. Uh, give me uh, Matthew chapter uh, 7 and verse 19 as well, man. Right. Give me the, uh, uh, Matthew 7 and uh, start at verse uh, 20. Bring it up. This is the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 20. Wherefore, by their fruits, ye shall know them. No, it's like, give me, uh, let me see, uh, Matthew 20 and verse, uh, it's like, in verse uh, 20, 21 right here. 22. 22. Yeah, this ahead. is the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 22. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name many wonderful works? And then will I possess them. Slot. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Right, because a lot of people in these last days say they love God. Right, they say they believe in Jesus. But guess what, man? When you have, uh, Jesus Christ, out of, out of his own mouth, said, when I come back, a lot of people will be saying, Lord, Lord, have I not cast out devils? Lord, Lord, have I not done the work? But he going to say, look, I never knew you. Why? Because you was too busy breaking God's laws, man. Well, you all about talk, but yet our people have never been about walk, man. Right, so in these last days, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and look, y'all got to come back to the Bible, man. Right? So uh, what you on? Uh, bring that first John 2 and 3. Yeah. This is the book of 1 John chapter 2, verse 3. Right. And hereby we do know that we know him if we... Uh, it's like... Changing for people. Oh, thank you for what you're doing out here. Deep. It means something. Even if nobody says anything, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Because that is so important for people. So many people need to hear that message. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I have a message for you as well if you'd like to hear it. Can you give me Revelation 13 and 10? God. Bring it up. Uh, what do you believe, man? Jesus you believe Christ in Jesus? He's, He's our Savior. Everybody needs to believe that. So who did Jesus Christ come to save? Give me Matthew 15 and 24. Everyone. Everyone. Sinners, everyone. Yes, my list. they just believe in him. All right, That's let's... all we need to do. It's so simple. You're right. Nobody but does it. Let's get it out the Bible real quick. Read it. Thank you. This is the book of Matthew chapter 15 verse 24. Bring it out. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So are you an Israelite? But, are you, but Jesus Christ said out of his own mouth, he's only sent to the nation of Israel. So if you're not an Israelite, that means Christ wasn't sent for you, right? Christ died for all. Christ died for all. Give me uh, Acts chapter, uh, give me Acts 5 and 30. Give me Acts uh, 13 and 23. Right? So we go get it out the Bible and we bring it out. This is the book of Acts chapter 13, verse 23. Right. Of this man's seed hath God, according to his promise, raised unto Israel a savior, Jesus. Right, so in the New Testament, after... Thank you for what you're... Keep doing it. That's all I can say. Keep doing it. Thank Bring you. Revelation 13 and 10. Bring it out. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 10. Right. He that leadeth into captivity... Right, so all you so-called white people that led so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans into captivity... Right, read that. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Right, I'm pretty sure that lady should agree God is a just and fair God. So if God is a just and fair God and you realize over 400 years of oppression so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans have to endure, obviously something got to come back to y'all, man. Y'all right. still sitting here on stolen land, right? You got my indigenous brothers and sisters right there locked up on the border, right? Understanding when the Haitians tried to come in, right? Y'all said no, but yeah, you let the damn Ukrainians and, and, and Afghanis come in, man. Right, so give them the book of Jeremiah chapter 2 and verse 3, man. Right, understand that, right? Finish that up. He that killeth with the sword. Right, because y'all kill so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans with the sword, even to, to this day, man. So the Bible said if you kill with the sword, right, keep going. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. So look, what goes with, how you doing, brother? Are y'all cool with Hispanics? Black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. What's black, your nationality, King? Black, black and brown. What's your nationality? Black and brown. Well, black is the color, brother. Oh. You understand that, right? So what's, are you, so is your father so-called black man or Hispanic? Black man. Black man. So you know, according to the Bible, you would be a real Jew, right? Yeah, how I did, know that. Yeah, how did black, do you know bloodline. that? Right? Bloodline. It's a bloodline, right? So how do we get saved in these last days? How do we get saved? Yes, sir. By, by according to the Bible? According to the Bible. Except the guy, Jesus didn't cross, uh, hey. except that he died on the cross for our sin. Right now, give me the book of uh, Matthew chapter 15, verse 14, because you love Jesus, right? 100%. Right, so we're going to get his words, right? Because you're not wrong. We got to uh, believe We got to believe in Christ, right? But it's more to it than that, right? Bring it up. This is the book of Matthew chapter 15, verse 14. Right. Let them alone 
Baby. Uh, sorry, John 14, 15. Hold on. Hold on. I'm coming. I'm hey, he's hearing the words from the Lord. He'll be there with you. The yeah. Lord gonna make sure he get there and catch up yeah. with y'all. Yeah. Hey, you gotta stand down, brother. Oh, Read, uh, 15, uh, say John 14, 15. This is the book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. Right. If you love me, keep my commandments. Right, so Jesus Christ said, if you love him, you gotta keep the commandments. Cause right. you can say you believe in Christ, but yet if you don't do nothing he says, how can you say you believe him? You I'm got a out here, man. Hey, anybody got flyers? You got here. flyers. You got flyers. flyers. Uh, so just remember, you is like you got to believe in Christ, but you got to keep the commandments as well. She queen right here, bro. She what? She queen, bro. Well, do you know what the word queen means? Yeah. What does the word queen mean? Chanel. Well, in the ancient, um, in old English, the word queen means whore. That's what the word queen means. But she, but she's a princess because she's a daughter of God, right? Yeah. So there's, we have princesses, right? That's good. So y'all Israelites, y'all got to keep the commandments and also have faith in Christ as well. Right, you do that? All right, but it comes on you, brother. The Lord looking at you because you're the right. man, brother. You got to establish a household. Yeah, All right, brother? If you're drinking too much in public like that, you got to be yeah. on point. You know what I'm saying? You got to have discernment. You out here to protect your family. You, you got to have a sober mind out here, bro. It's too much right. stuff going on. You got to be that on first point. Of five, you're Anything can happen. You can't be lacking out here. Right. right. And, the, and the brother's right, man. Give him that first Peter 5 and 8, man. Right. Because a lot of our people, right, we are drunk, right, both physically and also spiritually as well. Give him that, give him that Revelation chapter 17 and verse uh, 2, man. Right. Understand that, man. Right. Bring it up. Let me get this first. This is the book of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Be sober. Be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about. Seeking whom he may devour. Right, and the devil is seeking whom he may devour, man. And on the spiritual level, yeah, you can say there's something about the spiritual demon Satan, but also on the physical level, who's the one locking up you so-called black and Hispanics, the so-called white man? Who the one that's got y'all in the hoods, the so-called white man? In and out of jail, so-called white man. Single parent households, all this is done because of us being under the rulership of the so-called white man for a long time. That's now, right. guess what, man? We we just um, natural homeborn slaves when it comes to this man's society, man. Huh. So y'all got to, you so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans, y'all got to repent. Y'all got to come back to the Bible wholeheartedly or guess what, man? You're going to be a two-third and you're going to get death and destruction when the Lord destroyed this place, man. Oh. That's right. Uh, uh, keep going. Uh, uh, you done with that. Bring it out. 17 verse 2. Yeah, give me Jeremiah 2 and 3. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 17, verse 2. Right. With whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication. Right. And the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Right, with the wine of her fornication. Because guess what? You got nations coming. Uh, the Chinese man, he comes from China. The East Indian man, he comes to um, from East India all the way over here to America. He set up shops in your neighborhood. And guess what? He make a profit off you so-called black Spanish and Native Americans. And the so-called white man, guess what? He get taxes taken all that and go to his pocket, man. You understand that, right? So all nations have been made drunk with the wine of the for uh, wine of America's fornication, but primarily you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Guess what? You're drunker than the rest of the nations, right? Because yeah, right. the other nations, they still, it's like it. The other nations, they still celebrate like their Chinese New Year's, right? The Diwali and all these other things. But you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are engulfed in the ways of the society, man. Right? So a point where it's, it's just a damn shame, man. So y'all got to repent and y'all got to come out this world, man. But bring that Jeremiah two and two and uh, three. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter two, Give me verse three. Two and eight. Israel was holiness unto the Lord. Right, because Israel, like the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we used to be holy to the Lord. We used to keep the commandments, right, the dietary laws, right? We wasn't trying to get with the other nations. We was actually doing the things that the Lord told us to do, right? Israel was holiness unto the Lord. Keep going. And the first fruits of his increase. Right. All that devour him shall offend. Right, and all that devour Israel, guess what, all nations. Give me the, um, John, give me the book of First um, Maccabees chapter uh, 3. And verse 41, man. Because something you come to find out when you look at the history of Israel, every single nation had a part in putting us to slavery, right? Understand that you got the East Road slave trade, the Silk Road slave trade, the Sub Sahara, the Transatlantic, and even different slavery way before that, man. In Babylon, in ancient Egypt, every nation has had a hand in putting so called blacks and Hispanics into slavery and still oppressing them till today, man. So understand that the Lord said Israel was um, holy to the Lord, all them that devour shall be devoured, man. That means all you nations. That come up against God's chosen people, you either you gonna get destroyed or you gonna get left alive just to go into the slavery, man. So bring that up. This is the book of First Maccabees, chapter two, verse ten. What nation have not had a hand? The water. <laughs> Got you. What nation have not had a part in her kingdom and forgotten other spoils? Right. So that's kind of like a rhetorical question, because when you just take a look at it, everybody, even till today, has a hand in the destruction of the so-called black and Spanish Native Americans, right? That's right. Because understand that right now, you so-called blacks and Hispanics, they're trying to legalize, you know what I'm saying, man-boy love towards your children. 
They're saying your children don't have to have genders. Then soon they're gonna say, guess what? Your children, you ain't gotta listen to your damn parents, man. When you see all these devices set up, they all really set up to keep the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American down, man. And yet our people are 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 not educated in the ways of the so-called white men to where we fall for everything that they put in front of our face, man. I understand right. that. Keep going up. You got a piece up? Yeah. Time to bring it up. What you order? I got Zachariah 2 and 8. Bring it up. This is the book of Zechariah, chapter 2, verse 8. For thus saith Yahweh of hosts, after the glory have he sent unto me, sent me unto the nations, which spoiled you. Right, so after glory, right? Sending Yahweh shout to the nations who spoiled us, right? Keep going. For he that toucheth you touches the apple of his eye. And notice how when you read the Bible, you will see nowhere where the Lord feels like that about the other nations, right? Only only um, nation that the Lord feels some type of love is towards the so-called blacks and Spanish and Native Americans who are the Israelites of the Bible, right? Understand that, right? So-called brother and all black. You, you believe in the Bible? Yeah, you know you guys chose the people, right? Come talk to me, brother, real quick. Real quick, brother. So you can walk with the white woman, but you can't talk to your own brothers, man. That's right. That's a damn shame on my side, people, man. Bring it up. Give me, give me um, Exodus 20 and 32 real quick. Hold what you got. Give me Exodus 20 and 32. What she say? What's going on? No, do you believe in the Bible? Do you believe in the Bible? So understand, no, no, okay, we're gonna look, no, we're gonna look at history. Doing, what? You said something? I said we God chose the people. We God chose the people, we're the real Jews. That's what I was trying to tell you, brother. Bro, I'm not sure, I'm from straight Africa. But you don't, okay, brother, all right. To, to hell with it. When we, when we, if you take a look at America, when did black people have the most prosperity? Doing segregation or integration? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But when a, doing, doing segregation, the black dollar circulated our own community at least 30 Everybody times. But yet, in integration, less than 1% of our money goes into our own communities. Doing segregation, we had our own businesses, we had our own families together. Now, in integration, guess what? We don't have that no more. So when we were separated, it's a statistical fact in America, we was doing a whole lot better than integration. So yes, we should be separate. Give me some like 6 and 13. Because no matter where we go, every time we being always around the so-called white people, guess what? Y'all done it but rape, rob, murder, and y'all still land. That's right. Right, bring it out, man. 6 and 13. Chapter 6, verse 13. Right. Separate thyself. From thine enemies. Let's read it again. Separate thyself from thine enemies. Right, so we separated from y'all. Keep going. And take heed of thy friends. So guess what? White people haven't done nothing. What? Well, name something good white people have done for black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. All right. I have dated. And, and not about you. I'm talking about as a nation. Give me the book of Job, chapter 39, verse 24. As a nation, what has white people done good for black people? I need the answer. If not, shut up and keep walking your damn dog. What you gonna do? You gonna explain, you gonna give me my answer, or you gonna keep walking? Because everything you're gonna say, black people come together. We've been trying to come together with y'all for so long. We had non-violent protests, right? We integrated to our schools, and guess what? We nothing but destroyed. You good to black people? Really? Yeah, why would we come together with y'all? You seen what happened with damn Jeffrey Dahmer when he tried to come together with y'all? That's right. right. I remember y'all. Bring it up. He's at Job 39 and 39, 24. There's the book of Job, chapter 39, verse 24. Right. He swallowed up the ground like, with fierceness. Uh, 30, uh, 30, 34 and 29. 34 and 29. 30, 34 and 29, right? So I understand the Lord, he has judgment for all you so-called white people, man. That's right. Because you've done nothing but st still lands. And then when we come out here, do you see, you, what's, what's your nationality? I'm, I'm, um. What's your father? Ishanai Rabbi Nukana Ijaira. The, is, and we, we ain't dealing, hey, look, hey, look, hey, look, 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 I'm here, I'm trying to talk to, I'm trying to talk to my people, right? You can continue to do whatever you was doing. If you're a so-called white, Arab, whatever you is, you're going into slavery. What, what are you? I'm black, fucking jerk. <laughs> black is the color, though. Black is a person. Black is a person? What person is black? Street. You came from Elm Street? Instead like Freddie Cougar, huh? <laughs> Bring it up. This is the book of Job, chapter 34, verse 29. Right. When he giveth quietness, whom then can make trouble? Right. And when he hideth his face, 
who then can he can behold him right whether it be done against a nation right or against a man only right because we understand the lord he judged people individually but guess what also give the book of amos chapter 1 verse 11 the lord he judged his nations as well man you had good egyptians during the time of, uh, of exodus but guess what the lord destroyed them all man you had good babylonians but guess what the lord destroyed them all man you have good people amongst nations but guess what the lord he's not looking at an individual man because you so-called white people they just want to say you good people guess what man y'all not the elite Y'all don't even have power in your own country that your forefathers stole, man. Yeah, so right. don't come up to me telling me you know, we need to come together because we've been doing nothing but coming together with you so-called white people for hundreds of years and it's done nothing but backfire on us, man. Right. Bring that out. Right. Keep going. That the hypocrite. That the who? The hypocrite. You so-called white people are hypocrites, man. Y'all mad at what Vladimir Putin is doing in Russia, but guess what, man? America has been doing the same thing for hundreds of years, man. You mad because Vladimir Putin went to Ukraine and claimed it back as Russia. It went up. Oh, okay. yeah, you good, you good. good, right? So y'all mad that Vladimir Putin went and reclaimed lands from Russia, but nobody said a damn thing with America stole from the uh, from the damn uh, California all the way down to New York, man. Right? So understand? So that the hypocrite, right? Keep going. The hypocrite yes. reign not. That the hypocrite reign not. Cause guess what? You so-called white people are hypocrites, and the Lord don't want y'all to reign not, man. Right, man. I understand right. that, man. Hey, guess what, man? I'm living in the house and you living in the damn tent, man. Yeah, that's right. Shut the hell up, damn bomb, man. Right, understand that. Uh, drop that. Give me the book of uh, Second Ezra chapter. Uh, give me Second Ezra chapter 11 and verse 40, man. She back there with the dog. Yeah, she back there with Job the dog, too. man. Get Job 30, Job man. Job. Get Job 30 and start from the one, man. Right, understand that. Uh, a damn Edomite. What? She dis. But, brother, you just coming up here, brother. You don't even know the full story. You don't know the full story, and that's the problem. Whenever whenever you get on the so-called white man, guess what? Now you got a, a want to speak up for him, man. He don't even know the whole, he don't even know the whole thing that happened, but guess what? He got to say something to protect master, man. I understand that, man. You give me that. Um, get that, and then I need you to hold um, Ezekiel chapter uh, 20 and verse, I need Ezekiel chapter 20 and verse 32 as well, man. I understand that, man. I just, cause she can't even answer the question. Doing segregation when black people and Hispanic people were separate, we had more black on black and Hispanic on Hispanic businesses, right? You didn't read about black on black crime, Hispanic on Hispanic crime, right? You had two parent households and all these things, right? Now you got integration. Guess what, man? Black people, we don't have nothing. And guess what? Ain't nobody mad about it, man. As long as you give a so called black man some weed, as long as you give a black man a damn job, guess what, man? We think we're free in this society, and that's not the case when it comes to the scriptures, man. Bring that out, Ezekiel 30, 20. And verse 32 for that cool one over there, man. Bring it up. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 20 and verse 32. Right. And that which cometh into your mind shall not be at all, that ye say we will be as the heathen. Right, and that's what our people say in these last days, right? You hear you have your brothers coming up here and teach you who you are, that the so-called white man not teach you, but guess what? Now you want to join hands and hands with them, man. Talking about how can you disrespect a homeless person, man? Shut the hell up, brother. Guess what? You homeless because they stole your land, man. You don't say nothing about that, man. That stole Hispanics and Native Americans' land. You don't say a damn thing about that, man. Bring but you want to get mad at your brothers that's sticking up for you. Man, shut the hell up with that, man. Uh, read that again. Uh, 20 and 32. And that which cometh into your mind shall not be at all that ye say we will be as the heathen. Right. As the families of the countries. To serve wood and stone. Right, and that's what you do, man. Give me the give me the book of um, Matthew chapter twenty five verse thirty one, man. As well, man. Bring it out. What you want? Uh, what you was on it? Oh, Job. Job. Yeah, no get no, get that. We still gonna this is the book of Job chapter thirty verse one. Right. But now that are they that are younger than I have me in derision. Right, they are younger than me, have me in derision, man. You talk about blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who are the Israelites right now. You're in derision, man. Cause you, right? Y'all believe in God? Do y'all know that y'all God shows the people? So-called black people are the real Jews? You ever heard that? You believe that? So if you believe that, what must you do in order to be saved, brother? You gotta repent. And do you know what sin is? What is sin? Right, well, we're gonna get the definition for you. Cause brother, you're actually right. We're not here to, to get on our people. So I'm gonna show you what the exact definition of sin is so you may know how to repent, brother. So give me that. First John, First John uh, three and four. Are you good? Ain't this no, it's all right. Go, go. Still go. No, no. Oh, I got it. That's my... It's I got it. I got it. Okay, I got it. Right. For who commits sin 
also transgresseth the law. Right. For sin is the transgression of the law. So, brother, when you break God's law, that's sin. So, keeping the beard on your face, that's a commandment. Not eating pork, shrimp, crab, and lobster, that's a commandment as well. Keeping the Sabbath day, wearing fringes. All these are commandments that the Lord told you so-called blacks and Hispanics to keep so you may prosper. And you see our people, we don't keep the commandments, and that's why we at the bottom right now, man. So give me that, uh, what's your name? 25, 31. Uh, 25, 31. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 25, verse 31. Right. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. Right. And before him shall be gathered all nations. Right. So a Christian, they'll stop reading right there. See, when Christ come back, he's going to gather all nations. Right. Keep going. And he shall separate them one. Now, he, he shall bring all people together. He shall separate them one from another. Right. So when Christ coming back, guess what? That's going to be a whole lot of separation and division going on. Right. Understand that. Because you understand Christ. Right. Christ, he's in the same image of his father. Guess what? The father doing Genesis chapter 11. Guess what? He separated everybody together in their own language. According to Deuteronomy chapter 32, he separated everybody according to the uh, 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 children of Israel. Right. I understand, even in the nation of Israel, guess what? You got separate trials, right? So the Lord, he's all about division, and the Lord, he's all about separation. But guess what? The white man told you the opposite, and y'all rather listen to the white man than your own brothers, man. Right? It made no sense of those days. Keep going. As a shepherd divided his sheep right. from the goats, right? and he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Right, so the one third of Israel is going to be on the right, and guess what? You heathen, and, and guess what? You're going to be on the left, man. Understand that. So the Lord isn't about everybody coming together, and I dare anybody to prove us wrong, right? Understand that, right? Uh, what you on there? I want to hold it. You want to hold nothing? Uh, you so-called black people, Hispanic, y'all the real Jews of the Bible. I see you got a cross on, brother. Do you know what the cross represent? What it represent well, you know, during the Roman time period, that's how they was killing Jews. Because when Christ was getting killed, he had two other brothers on the left and right, right? So that's like the same as you wearing the noose, brother. Would you wear a noose around your neck? No, so why you wear a cross, brother? See that? So, brother, now you know better. Guess what? Look that up, all right? Look it up, all right, brother? All right, man. Give me the book of, uh, drop that. Give me the book of also, uh, Sirach chapter 12 and verse 10. All right? Bring it up. Give me, um, Revelation chapter 18 and verse 4. Oh, you good. 18 and 4. How y'all brothers doing? Y'all believe in God? How do we show God that we love him according to the scriptures? Nobody? Bring it out. Yeah. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 4. Right. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. Right, that's what you so-called blacks and Spanish need to be doing in these last days, right? Coming out of the ways of America and coming back to your actual heritage as the children of Israel, God shows the people, right? Keep going. That you be not partakers in her sin. Right, because understand, America is a place full of sin right now, right? You can, you can love who you want to love, right? You can be what you want to be in the sense of, you know what I'm saying? If you want to, if a man can identify as a damn woman, woman can identify as a man, all hell is breaking loose in America. Why? Because the Lord is letting her sins uh, reach up to the top. Keep going. And they, that ye received not of her plague. Right, because that's the Lord, that's the whole message right here, right? You don't want to receive the plagues of America, right? Matter of fact, uh, give them the book of Sirach, chapter uh, 40 and, and verse 10. We're going to get what the plagues are. Bring it out. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 12, verse 10. Right. Never trust thine enemy. Right. So we don't give a damn what any so-called white person try to come up here and tell us that we need to integrate. Right. The Bible said, never trust thine enemy. Right. Keep going. For like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. So guess what? Even though the so-called white man get old, right, he might treat you nice. He might give you a job. No, he might let you date his daughter or whatever. Guess what, man? As iron rusted, so as his wickedness. Right? Keep on. Though he humble himself right. and go crouching. And that's the problem with so-called blacks and Hispanics, right? Because you think the so-called white man, like how he was doing in the 60s and way back then, not killing you like how he is now? You think he, you think he nice now, right? I understand that. But guess what? Read that again. And go crouching. Though he humble himself and go crouching, right. yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hadst wife a looking glass. Right. And thou shalt know that his wrath have not been altogether wiped away. And hey, you shall know that his wickedness has not been altogether wiped away, man. Because who was that? Um, Brent Favre, he, he stole um, millions and millions of dollars from people, from so-called blacks and Spanish that needed just to build a damn volleyball team, man. You got a damn uh, sister who went to a, a sleepover with all so-called white women. She ended up dead the next morning, man. I understand that. Ain't nobody sitting around 
when, when George Floyd was getting killed, and then nobody sitting here and when them Emmett Till was getting killed, man. No so-called white people were sitting here and stunning you so-called black people, man. You so-called Hispanics people, man. So the simple fact that you would give all your time and energy unto these people that show you nothing but hate, it beats me, man. Uh, keep going on that. Set, verse 12, set him not by thee, lest we have... How you doing, brother? So-called Hispanic, Central Americans, y'all the God shows the people, y'all the real Jews. Uh, you're Israelite, right? Y'all got to keep the commandments and have faith in Christ, who is not a white man, right? Keep going. Say him not by thee. Right? So the Bible said, like, don't even set them by you, man. Understand that. Keep going. When he hath overthrown thee, right. he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, right. lest he seek to take thy seat. Because that's what they do, right? They don't, the so-called white man, right? He's such a punk. Right, he don't come up to you like as a man and try to go to what what he do? No, he, he come, he be nice to you, right? He scout out your area, he see who your mightiest warriors is, he see where your foods fly, he come out, he scout you out. Then guess what? When you call lacking, that's when he rise up and that's when he conquer you, so-called blacks and Hispanics, man. Right, you don't believe me, and look, just take a look at history, he speaks for itself, man. Are uh, you so-called black people, y'all the real Jews, y'all guys chose the people. The same people that Moses freed out of Egypt is, is y'all today, man. Y'all got to repent, y'all got to keep God's commandments, and y'all got to have faith in the son who is not a white man, but who is a black man just like y'all, man. That's right, that's Understand right. that, right? You can pretend that you don't hear me, but guess what? When all hell break loose and when the Lord comes back, guess what? It's going to be time out. You so-called black suspenders ain't going to have no excuse in them days, man. Was that it on it? Was it with you? Right here. You want to finish that up? Uh, yeah, finish that, right? Finish that. Lest he, lest he seek to take thy seat, and thou the last remember my words and be pricked therewith. And that's what we're doing right now. We're remembering the words because we understood. Oh, damn, I wish we had the knowledge before then. So guess what, man? We wouldn't be in this damn position in the first place, man. Understand that, right? So uh, what you holding? Did you say Yisarek 40 and 10? Yeah, 40 and verse uh, 10. This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 40, verse 10. These things are created for the wicked. And for their certain saints came the flood. All right, for the saints of wicked, guess what? It came the flood. So we ask you to go through the Bible, uh, keep holding that, and we're going to read the things that was created for the wicked, man, for the, for the nations and for two-thirds of Israel. Keep going. <clears throat> All these things that are in the earth shall turn to the earth again. Right. And that which is of the waters do return into the sea. Now, where you at? 40 and 10. But the good oh, so like, so like start at verse uh, uh, 8. Verse 8. Right. Such things happen unto all flesh. Right. Both man and beast. Right. So the things we're about to read, guess what? Everybody can say they they um they actually went through that, right? But keep going. And that's sevenfold more to, upon sinners. Right. And it's sevenfold, meaning the Lord is gonna give you a bigger destruction if you're a damn sinner, man. Keep going. Death. Right. And bloodshed. Right. Death and bloodshed is coming to America in these last days, right? That's right. Because they tell you nothing but peace and prosperity in these last days. But guess what? If you just look at current events, the exact opposite is going on right now, man. So death and bloodshed is coming for you so-called blacks and Hispanics that don't repent. Keep going. <clears throat> bloodshed, strife. Right. And sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge. Right. And tribulation and the scourge. I mean, it look, hey, look, man, it's going to be a famine going on. Right, it's gonna be martial law. All hell is gonna break loose in these last days, and the only way out for you so-called blacks and Hispanics is coming back to the Lord, come back to your God, coming back to Christ, and keeping the law and such commandments on the Lord, man. That's, right, That's right. your only option in these last days, man. Cause we try marching, we try protesting, right? We try integrating and all these other things. The only thing we haven't tried is coming back to the Lord so we may be saved, man. Yeah, Bring right. it out. Uh I ain't tell you hold on. Yeah, I'll be slipping. Give me the book of uh actually give me the book of uh second Andrew chapter eleven verse uh forty. Right? I'm sorry, I'm gonna get a few more and uh I'll be done. So give me second Andrew chapter eleven verse forty, man. Right, bring it up. This is the book of Second Andrew chapter eleven verse forty. And the fourth came and overcame all the beasts that were past and had power over the world with great with great fearfulness. And the over the world it's a lot. And over the whole compass of the earth with much wicked oppression. Right, with much wicked oppression. It's going to this, the, the you so called white people, man. Right, because when y'all came into power against them, man, y'all just ruled with great oppression, man. Y'all stole America, y'all stole Australia, 
Y'all stole Africa, right? Y'all stole Europe. Everywhere you saw called white people have gone, you stole it, man. Right? right. Give me the book of um Psalm chapter uh fifty and verse sixteen, man. So everywhere you go, you saw white people stole it. Guess what? Y'all really been a great oppression, man. Y'all took all the resources, y'all took all the gold, y'all killed, y'all raped, right? You molested and you damn changed up everything to the point where everybody is destroyed because of the rulership of you so called white people, man. And that's why we need Christ to come back to set everything back in order, man. But first and foremost, you so called blacks and Spanish and Native Americans you need to repent and come back to the Lord, man. That's um, right. Keep on it. There you go, second edge 11, uh, 40, uh, 41. There you go, you go. Verse 41, for the earth have not judged with truth. Right. For they have afflicted the meek. Right, and you have afflicted the meek, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You're the meek. You're the lowly people right now, man. But guess what? The so-called white man afflicted you, and guess what? Now he's enjoying a state fair in a land that he stole, man. Keep going. Thou has hurt the peaceable. Right, y'all had hurt the peaceable, right? Because Native Americans, our Hispanic brothers, they greeted y'all with peace, man. So-called black people do nothing but show you so-called white people peace. And guess what? You still break wild murder and oppress, man. Keep going. Thou has loved liars. Right, you have loved liars, and y'all are a group of liars yourself. Keep going. And destroyed the dwell the like, and destroyed the dwellings of them that brought forth fruit. Hey, brought forth fruit, cause didn't the Native Americans literally bring forth fruit when the so-called white man get up came up them ships, man? Them starving, right? Almost about to die. Guess what, man? The nations have brought forth fruit amongst the so-called white man. Guess what? He's done that, but take that fruit and took everything else, rape, rob, and murder, and destroy you to this very day, man. Keep on. It has cast down the walls of such as did thee no harm. Right, because ain't nobody do the white man harm, man. But a white man decided just to come out and rape, rob, and murder. Because guess what? It's in his nature, man. Right, give him the book of, um, drop that. Give him the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse, uh, no, um, Ecclesiastes uh, 7 and verse uh, 13, right? Give me that real quick, man. Understand that, man. So we're going to go to the precepts real quick on you so-called white people, man. They've done that but stole black and Spanish lands. What's your nationality, sis? You, you Mexican and Dominican? So you know that you guys chose the people, the Israelites that you read about in the Bible. Is your father uh, Mexican or is your father Dominican? Dominican. So you'll be from the tribe of Simeon, sister. Y'all got to repent. You got to keep the commandments and have faith in Christ. Bring it up. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 13. Right. Consider the work me, of uh, God. Who, two and four. For who can make that straight? Which he hath made crooked. Right, and understand, man, there's no, what, what's that word, uh, re, uh, reform when it comes to the so called white man, right? Understand that people be trying to reform the so called white man for years, but guess what? It doesn't, it don't happen, man. By nature, he's rape, rob, and murder. Just look at the Jeffrey Dahmer series right now, man. Understand that, man. That's, that's who they are as a people, and their history speak out for themselves, man. Keep going. In the day, it's a lot. Like, I think that's it on that. See, so 13, yeah. uh, kind that's, that's, that's it on that. Uh, bring it up. This is the book of Habakkuk. Chapter 2, verse 4. Right. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. Right. His soul that is upright is not lifted up in him, man. Right. Uh, Let's see those in the car. Who? Okay. Yeah, How you doing, brother? Well, the thing is, you you pulled. Well, the thing is, brother, you pulled up and you spoke about something that you wasn't here at the beginning, brother. But you hear speaking the Lord's name, saying, saying Bible verses. Disrespecting people, bro. You don't do that in the same sentence. That's can you, can you, you go in the Bible and show me that I can't do it in the same sentence? Love thy neighbor. Mother. Give me Leviticus 19 and 17. <laughs> well, that's hypocritical no, as hell. That, that is. Bring it up. That's hypocritical as hell. You're a hypocrite. Here's the book of Leviticus no, he good, chapter he 19, good. verse 17. Right. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Right. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer him upon suffer sin upon him. Right, keep going. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. Right, so your brother is the children of thy people. She is not my people, therefore I, they, she I don't have to love her. Does God hate? No, he doesn't. Romans so 9 and 13. Do, so why do you hate? You got it? Yeah. Bring it, bring it up. Romans this is the 13. book of Romans chapter 9 verse 13. Right. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, right. but Esau have I hated. So does God hate Esau? Does, really? right, can you answer the, the first question? I asked you a question, brother. It, is does God hate Esau? You star David on your brother, you just said God loves every. You just said God loves everybody. You're I showed you that God David does not love chest. everybody, brother. You're can you at least say that you would? Can you at least can you at least say you was wrong, brother? Make it make sense. Can you at least say you was wrong? wrong? Bring it again. This is the book of Romans, chapter nine, verse thirteen. Right. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, right. but Esau have I hated. So does God hate Esau, brother? 
Christian. See that? The brother want to come up here and try to check me, but yeah, he can't even be right about the Bible, man. First he said, I, I disrespect her. I, can't, I have to love my neighbor. Can you, can you, can you show me that this is a star? It is a star. In the, in, the, in the Hebrew custom, do they recognize this as a star? Give them the book of wisdom, Solomon chapter 13 and verse 2, man. So the, the, this is the thing. You came up, only reason why you came up here is to defend a so-called white woman. And yeah, you've been wrong about everything that comes to the Bible. And yeah, you want to come up here and you want, brother, print it out, man. 13 and 2. You called me a coon. You don't even know who I am. Hey, you didn't know the conversation. That's why I did that. You you, you spoke first off to of something that you didn't know. No, you didn't. So what you what you hear when? Bring it out, man. This is the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter thirteen, verse two. Bring it out. But deem either fire or wind, right. or the swift air, right. or the circle of the star. Or the what? The circle of the star. Is this a circle, brother? Found it. All right, found all right, brother. So this is not a star. This is a lily. You can read about it in the first in, uh, first Kings chapter six and seven. God instructed King Solomon to put this on our temples, brother. Read it for me. First, read, uh, get there first Kings. Uh, I believe the first one is uh, six and uh, twenty-three. Let me show this there real quick. Did you give me uh, first Kings uh, seven? I believe because of the lily and that. Uh, I'm saying you speaking disrespect. You don't know who I am, bro. You brother, you don't know who I am, brother. You don't, brother. Don't. Hit, a, hit this thing, brother. You wasn't here when she but first came up here, brother. Brother, brother. brother. Hey, hold on, I got, I got you, I got you, I got you, bro. brother. What was you up here when she first came up here? No, I was not. no. So how can you speak on something that you wasn't here in the beginning? And how can you call somebody a name and I don't even know? The how, how, brother? Why can't you answer my questions? I am answering your questions. First, I said the guy that everybody loves. Everybody say yes. You're I proved you wrong. Questions. With a Christian Bible and your own Can you prove to me what what does the word Christian mean? I don't know. So <laughs> brother, you you word? coming you at a, me. a Christian means a follower of Christ. Yep. Now who did Christ show himself to? Everybody. Give me the book of Acts chapter <laughs> two and verse twenty one. Now nah, don't don't lie, I wanna deal with the brother. Brother, 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 you good, 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 bro. you good brother, bring it out. You good, you bring good, it out. Acts two and twenty one. You good question. I'm gonna deal with you, brother. If you feel like I offended you as a brother, I apologize first and foremost. All right, but we are here for our people first. All right, so I bring it up. This is the book of Acts, chapter two, verse twenty-one. Right, and it shall come to pass that whosoever should call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Right, keep going. Ye men of Israel, right, hear these words. Now keep going. Um, Jesus of Nazareth, right. a man approved of God right. among you among by you. miracles and wonders and signs which God did by him in the midst of you, as you yourselves also know. Right, so notice it said, ye men of Israel, he's saying Jesus did all these things in the midst of them. So Jesus shows himself on the Israel, because it's prophecy that he had to go to Israel, brother. So when God doesn't love everybody, and Christ showed himself to Israel, brother. Do you have any more questions? What are you? So according to the Bible, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are the real Jews. We're God, that's why you see us wearing this, because we're God shows the people. Right, let me, I want to prove that to you. Give me the book of Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. Give me the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse uh, 15. Because I don't want you to seem like, cause even though it might seem like we're about hate, we're actually about love, but yeah, our people are in such a low state. Sometimes you got to be confrontational just to get their attention, brother. So bring that out, Jeremiah 17 and 4. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. Right. And thou even thyself, shall discontinue from thy inheritance. Right, so God is telling the Israelites that they're going to be discontinued from their heritage, brother. Now, if I was to ask you, what language did you speak before? Did we speak before English? What would you tell me? I'm not sure. You're not sure. What holidays before Christmas, Easter, and Thanksgiving did we celebrate? I'm not sure. What is our culture before 1619? I'm not sure. Right, because the Bible said we would be the ones that would be discontinued from our heritage. Keep going. That I gave thee, right. and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. Now, did we as the people have to serve our enemies in a land that we knew not? When we got out them ships, did we know what America was or the 13th count? No, but yet you're going to have a group of people that would not remember who they are, and they would also be in slavery um, uh, serving their enemies, right, King on? For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger, which shall burn forever. Right, and it's not literally forever, because it's prophecies about the Lord saving Israel. It's just we've been here for such a long time, it, it just seemed like forever. So we have... One, I'm showing you one by verse that said the Israelites would be discontinued from the heritage and not know who they are and be in slavery. Uh, read, uh, read 28 to 16. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 16. Right. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Right, so these are, uh, read verse 15 real quick. Um, but, it, but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God right. to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee 
and overtake So this is Moses talking to the Israelites. Before they went into the promised land, he said, it's going to come to pass if you do not obey the words of the Lord to do the commandments, all these curses will hit you. Now, is a curse a good thing or a bad thing, brother? Bad, thing. bad things, right? So we're going to read it, and then you tell me who these fit today. 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. So notice the first curse says, cursed shall I be in the city. Now, when we look at all the low-income neighborhoods in America, who lives there? Who the ones getting shot and hung in, in, the, in the streets? Black people. We're the ones that curse Latinos as well. We're the ones that being cursed in the city. Keep going. And cursed shall thou be in the field. Oh, so you're on the cotton field, the sun up to sundown, tomato field, sundown, sundown. Even in modern days, who worked all the low end and bad jobs? We're the ones. Cursed shall I be in the city. Cursed shall I be in the field. Give me verse uh, 54. Verse 54. Right. Um, so that the man that is tender among you. Right. And very delicate. Okay, it, it used to be a point of time where so-called black man, Spanish man, when we look at the shot, it was nothing but love. Right? So you're my brother. I'm your brother. We, we, it was nothing but love, right? But keep going. And very delicate. Right. His eyes shall be evil toward his brother. So notice the Lord said, now your eyes going to be evil towards his brother. Now, you ever, like, been to a spot and uh, other so-called black people there and they just mean mug you for no reason? Yeah. Why? You see nothing but black on black crime in our communities. Why? Because the Bible said, I will be evil towards our brother. Keep going. Mm -hmm. And toward the wife of his bosom. Right, so notice, I'm, I'm in, we're the primarily ones that's getting women pregnant and not take care of the kids, right? right. We call that women um, bees and hoes. We look at nothing but music videos or we do nothing. Violence. With domestic violence, we, we dress them up half naked, have them shake their butts, shake their butts for a few bucks, right? That's showing hate towards the women of our bosom. Keep going. Um, and, to, um, and toward the remnant of his children. And what are we known for doing to our children? Well, you, you in, in a so-called black, well, even though you got this in the Hispanic communities, primarily in the black communities, you got a lot of single parent households. The father's not there. Keep going. And the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. So the Bible said the Israelite man, because they didn't obey God, now you're going to be evil towards your brother, towards your wife, and you're going to be leaving your kids. Give me the verse uh, 65. We're going to keep going. Ask him what he thinks about this. See what? Well, well you, so you, you see where I'm coming from? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, 65. All right, verse 65, and among these nations shall thou find no ease. Because we've been in America for a long time, but yet we never had ease here, right? So the Lord said, among these nations thou shalt find no ease. Keep on. Neither shall the soul of thy foot have rest. Because we don't have no rest, so you got to work all day. If you ain't got to work, you got to worry about the police killing you. You got to worry about your own brother killing you. Right, Michigan ain't got no clean water. Flint still ain't got no clean water. We don't have no rest, no ease in the places that the Lord has scattered us. Keep on. Um, but the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart right. and failing of eyes right. and sorrow of mind. And sorrow of mind, because we see the oppression our people are going to, but yet we don't have the power to do anything about it, man. Right, right keep going. Um, to the next verse. Keep going. And thy life shall hang in doubt right, before so thee. Don't our life hang in doubt? You get pulled over. You, this might be your last chance living, man. If you go to court for something small, they literally have books that tell you that if white man and black man do the same crime, it's more than, it's like 10 times like that the black man will get, either go to jail or get higher time than the so-called white man. That's, that's just a fact, right? Keep going. Uh, and thou shalt fear day and night. Right. And shall have no assurance of thy life. Right. And here verse uh, 68. So and we, we go, basically go like our brothers that's like exactly. out here in the hood and stuff. We don't know if we're going to get gunned down. We don't know if Rico down the street beefing with us. They go back into that, that hatred we got for each other, which is curses because we disobeyed the commandments. That's you right. know what I'm saying? Hey, verse 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into uh, Egypt one, again with ships. So notice the last curse before the Israelites, they just got out of Egypt. So Moses tell them that if you disobey, the Lord will send you back into Egypt. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what Egypt means so we can understand this fully. Give me Exodus 1 and verse, uh, start at verse uh, 11. This is the book of Exodus chapter 1 verse 11. Right. Therefore, they did set over them taskmasters. Right, this is back in Egypt. Taskmaster, you know what a taskmaster is? That's a slave master. Right, so understand, the Bible said we're going to go back into Egypt, and in ancient Egypt, we had slave masters, right? Keep going. To afflict them with their burdens. Right. And they built for the slot. And they built for Pharaoh treasure cities. Right, so just how we built ancient Egypt, who built modern day America? We did. So called blacks and the Spanish, right? So you could drop that. So I'm showing you when the Bible, read that again. So I'm going to show you why, why I went there. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Right, so the Lord said, if you disobey again, I'm going to send you into another slavery, but this time with ships. Now, how did we get here to America? Ship. On ships, On right? Ship. So Just high res? Yes, sir. What did we disobey for a whole, our whole race to be? Give me uh, Deuteronomy uh, 20 and 15 again. Oh, give, me, uh, give me uh, 
hope, yeah, give me that. Then give me uh, Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 19. This is a good question uh, you asked him, brother. Right? So, like I said, I know we hard sometimes, but our main goal is really just to educate our people when it comes to the Bible. Yeah, yes, sir. Get, uh, yeah, but I want to get this, and uh, I got you. Okay, this is 5 and 19. I apologize. Now, you good. We apologize, too. So you, brother. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 19. Right. And it shall come to pass when ye shall say, Wherefore doth the Lord our God are these things unto us? Right, so the Lord, he, he knew that it was going to come a time where people start asking, okay, why did God do all these things to us? Keep going. Then shall thou answer them, like as ye ask, so like, like as ye forsaken me and serve strange gods in your lands, so, ye, so shall ye serve strangers in a land that is not yours. Right, so God said, just how we want to serve strangers and other gods in our own land, Therefore, we shall serve um, strangers in a land that's not ours, going back into the curse that we brought out. So the only reason why we did that because, guess what, we don't keep the law, such commandments of the Bible. Right. So that's why we went into slavery. And then on top of that, we made an oath, like coming out of Egypt. Uh, our forefathers made this oath, like you delivered us from Egypt, we going to keep four these commandments. Six. So four we entered six. into that. So she, you know, like you signed a contract, you obligated to what's in that contract. So we signed that contract with the Lord, you know, through the medium Moses. We gonna keep this, and whatever come good with this, we gonna take, and whatever come bad. So this gotta be in a negative connotation now because we disobeyed what we supposed to keep. And let me, me show you that. Again. Okay, bring, bring it up. All right, Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass, like it's gonna, it's gonna come to pass. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all His commandments and His statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right. So if we in this position because we broke the laws, what shall we do in order to be saved out of this position? Yeah. So, well, what do we do? The, what do we do now? If, we, if, we, if breaking the laws is what God has said, what should we do to get out of here? Um, like what should black communities do? Well, at, cause I understand the black communities with the Israelites, so ask the Israelites. Because you understand, are you the same color as your shirt, brother? No, so you understand the word black, like the Russian man, he sound from Russia. Chinese man, I sound from Russia. Right. Chinese black man, he say he from black. Uh, he say he from, sorry, the black man says he's black, but yeah, there's nowhere on the map that's named black, right? right? I understand that. So give me Revelation chapter 14 and verse uh, 12, because you believe in Christ, right? All right. So I understand when we say keep the law, we also, well, to believe in Christ is in the law as well, but it's you got to keep the law and you got to have faith in Christ. I'm going to show that. Bring it up. All right. This is the book of Revelation chapter 14, verse 12. Here is the patience of the saints. Right. Here are they that keep the commandments of God. So keep the commandments. In the faith of Jesus. So you got to keep the commandments, but also you got to have faith in Christ. You understand that, right? So, right. So what should we start doing as a people in order to get out the situation? Wait, we got to keep faith and what else, brother? Because you say you got the faith of Jesus and what else? Read it one more time. Um, keep the commandments. Keep the keep commandments. commandments, brother. So do you know the commandments? Not all of them. Well, I'm saying none of us, we don't. We just don't know them all. And so when Christ comes back, then it's going to be programmed. But I'm going to teach you something that we, we can keep. This, that's not too hard, right? So give me the book of uh, Leviticus chapter 11, verse uh, 7. You give me the book of um, Leviticus uh, 19 and verse uh, 27. Uh, give me that first. There you go. So I really thank you for coming to actually talk to us, brother. I know how I feel. What's your name, King? Quest. Quest, I am Zachariah. Right, you take five, two. You got to be on a quest for wisdom, man. That's right. <laughs> Read up. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 11, verse 7. Right. And the swine that. So, so do you know what swine is, brother? Pork. Yeah. Pork, right? So, uh, and the swine, though he divided the hoof and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. Right. He is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall ye not eat. And their carcass shall ye not touch. Right, cause you know you don't know, eat pork. Uh, praise, cause you see, black people, we got we have heart attacks at age fifty. Gout, you gotta get your foot amputated. Why? Cause we eat so much unclean animals that the Lord told us not to do. You see, the other nations they do it, but yeah, they perfectly fine. Why? Because the Lord specifically told us not to eat these things. Right. right. Keep going to verse nine. Verse nine. Right. These shall ye, these shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Right. Whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters. In the seas and in the rivers, thou shall ye eat. Right, so do you eat like shrimp, crab, you don't eat nothing? Your and look, and look, that's the Lord specifically making sure you don't eat those things, man. So you, you're keeping a diary to a lot of praise to the Lord, man. Give me that. Leviticus 19 and 27. 27, right? Um, this is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 27. Right. 
Ye shall not round the corners of your heads. Right. Neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. Right. So no shaving, like shaving your head bald. Like if you naturally bald, that's one thing. But as far as shaving your head bald or cutting your beard off, brother, according to the Bible, you're not supposed to do that. Because you know one of the first things they did when we got from slave ships, they put us in a big community bath, cleaned us up, shaved our beards off, then start calling us boy. Right, understand when you keep a beard, there's a badge of honor. I mean, that's a manly badge of honor amongst our nation, man. The Lord told you to keep a beard, so brother, we got to keep beard. You see, everybody up here, we got a beard, some less than others, but yeah, we still growing what we got, right? So those are just two simple commandments that we, we can just keep in the society. And guess what, man? If you start keeping those, then you start learning more. And guess what, brother? You be on your way, brother. So you got any more questions, brother? No, sir. So like I said, man, I'm Zachariah. And look, I know we get we go hard on the white people, but guess what, man? We out here for our people. We got we to gotta repent and we got to come back to our, we got to put our people first, man. Because Ukraine right now, when they go through it, when we was going through it, they ain't say nothing about us, man. Don't nobody come and say nothing about us. But guess what? We got to come out and we got to do it ourselves, man. You understand that, brother? All right, so all praises, man. All right, we love you, brother. All right, man. Hey, so, where, you, um, where you work at? This is my mother's gallery. It's off of Sylvian. Um, first black-owned gallery in the last 30 years. All praises. Let's go, man. Um, that's why I kind of got so offended. No, nah, you, you good, brother. Um, yeah, y'all check it out. Support, bro. Support. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah. Hello, yeah. 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 So, um, with that, I give all honor and glory to you